Hey guys, just putting this out there for somebody that might need it is how do you free a stuck valve in like a flathead engine? Um, it's actually a fairly common problem, especially if you're bringing an engine back to life that's been sitting for a long, long, long time. Let me show you. Here we have a typical Tecumseh, and you know, it's virtually identical to like a Briggs and Stratton flathead engine, meaning the valves are down in the engine, they're not overhead valves. And the problem with this one is the exhaust valve is actually sticking open. It's 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 still moving, but it's taking it's coming up and it's going down just really slow, you know. So it's not fast enough for it to build compression. If you pulled it over really slow, you would feel compression. The nice thing about the flathead is if you take out the spark plug, you can actually see both valves. Right here is our intake, and over here is our exhaust. Maybe I can shine it up a little bit so you can see. It, the air closed right now. I freed it up a little bit, but I just thought you guys would like to see. So I'm pulling the rope, and my intake is opening. This one's not sticking, but just to show you what it should do, you should be able to put a screwdriver on the edge, and it should easily spin. I know that's hard for you guys to see, but it should easily spin. So the idea is, usually yours will just be stuck open. So your exhaust valve will just be, your intake or exhaust valve will just be stuck open. I've already freed up this the exhaust valve pretty much, but if it's not, what you want to do is first lubricate it. The nice thing about it being stuck open is you can see down under it. So you can take a penetrating lube. Um, the reason it's sticking is because the valve guide in here it's just getting stuck in there. It's pretty tight tolerances so it's just getting stuck in here. So the idea is to spray lubricant like um, WD-40 or PB Blaster down in there at that angle just to hit this shaft and even if you hit here, it'll run down and just to pre-lube it. And then once you get lube on there, is to push it down with a screwdriver or something, is to actually take a screwdriver and just force it down with your hand. Um, make sure I would rotate, you know, if the exhaust is sticking open, I would rotate the engine until the intake opened so I knew that this was on, this would have been, this one should be closed. Um, and vice versa. So push that down, then rotate the engine around. The engine will have enough force to push it back and then spray some more lube in there. And then once you get it kind of moving, I like to take transmission fluid. Or take some, this is transmission fluid in a, just having to be in a nice oiler. But it's nice and fluid and really a light oil. And I just pull it up on top and it just runs down the side. I'm not trying to fill up the whole cylinder. And that will just coat that whole valve to the point that you can just rotate it and now it's rotating nice and easy so this will not stick and it instantly closes so I mean I have that freed up nice put the spark plug back in hook it up turn it on Hey guys, well there we go. Hopefully somebody can find that helpful. You know, it takes you a good five minutes and you don't have to take apart the whole engine. You don't have to take off the head. Usually once you free it up, it's good. Um, that's another reason why usually it's a little bit better to pull the engine over when, you, when you're leaving it for a long time. Pull it over until you start feeling compression. That means both valves are closed and no moisture can get into the cylinder and rust it 
or anything like that. But also, if the valve is kind of sticking, the next time you pull over the engine, they're closed and it, the engine will force it up and it has, it's less likely to stay stuck. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Leave a comment below. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.